Hello, my name is Gabe Zolna. I'd like to take a few minutes and go back into history, and not all that far back in history either. Let's go back to the Second World War, and that's where Russia and America were on the same side, and collectively they were able to defeat Germany. Could they have done it independently on their own? Probably not, not until the atomic bomb came into play. The point is, we were allies, and ever since the end of the Second World War, I think that relationship ended. And it doesn't exist today on a friendly basis either. And let's go to the Korean conflict. Well, what did we have there? Well, we had uh, North Korea decided to invade South Korea. And who came to the aid of the North Koreans? Well, the Chinese did, but again, so did the Russians. And the Russians provided uh, the North Koreans with uh, MiG fighters, and those MiG fighters went into battle against uh, the American Sabre jet, I believe it was at that time. And in the meantime, we lost an awful lot of American soldiers in that conflict. Now let's go a little bit further ahead. And let's go back now to uh, Vietnam. Well, what happened in Vietnam? Well, you had uh, the uh, people in, in uh, northern Vietnam decided to uh, try to bring communism, and the people in southern Vietnam tried to resist communism, and America got involved in trying to prevent communism. But uh, who was providing uh, the uh, North uh, Vietnamese with weapons? Well, it was Russia. They were giving them uh, very, very sophisticated weapons, including the SAMs, uh, which are surface-to-air missiles that brought down an awful lot of uh, American airplanes, B-52s and a host of other fighters. And so here we have, we have Russia supplying all these weapons, and we lost, I think, about 55,000 Americans in that conflict, and I don't know how many tens of thousands were maimed and crippled during that conflict. But again, you had two countries supplying other countries with weapons and military assistance in conflict with each other. Now, let's go to what happened over in Afghanistan with uh, Russia. Well, Russia invaded Afghanistan, and they fought a battle for around 10 years. And what helped end that, uh, in that in uh, the Afghans' favor is the United States. The United States provided military support and military equipment and military technology and military training to the Afghans. And then the Afghans were able to shoot down the uh, Russian helicopters, which is the main method of transportation in such a rugged country, and they shot them down with the Stinger missiles that we gave them. Okay, now let's go to our situation in the United States of America with our conflict in Afghanistan. Who's supplying weapons against the Americans? Well, it's Russia. Russia's supplying them with weapons to fight our soldiers and to kill our soldiers. <clears throat> Does anybody think there's something wrong with this picture? Now, let's go to the present. Now we have a situation right now that developed more recently when the United States decided to uh, put uh, Patriot missiles on the border between uh, Turkey and Syria. And, true to form, Russia provided uh, superior missile systems to Syrian in defense of against any kind of military intervention by the American along the border of Turkey. I mean, this is totally insane. This brings me to the question that I have to ask of our Congress. Now, you all remember that open mic period where uh, President Obama, not knowing that uh, the mic was hot, leaned over and uh, he uh, whispered uh, some words to the then president of Russia. And basically what he said is that um, I'm in my last election and I'll have more flexibility once it's over. And what he was referring to is the American missile defense system. Now, the question again that I have to ask is, if that isn't treasonous, what is? What is? If that by itself isn't treasonous, what is? God help America. It needs it.